Let me tell you a secret. When I have started editing my video in Adobe Premiere Pro, I have suddenly realized that after a certain time my C drive is filling up without any reason. Let me show you. Here if I open my file explorer, you can see C drive is almost full. Why? I didn't know back in that time why it is filling up very quickly. But today I'm going to tell you why that is happening. So if you go here in the edit panel and from here if you go to preference, from here you can click media cache. If you click on that option, you will see there are several options. So when Premiere Pro is editing a video, it is actually making some render. When you are applying an effect, it is making a render of that preview file so that you can see that in your program monitor. So it will apparently render the video and it will save it on that location. For me, the location is C, user, JPStream, app data, roaming, Adobe, common. This is the folder, right? But you can change that folder. If you don't want to fill up your C drive, then you can change the folder or change the drive where you want to save. Suppose you have a external drive, then you can just click here and then you can select external drive, maybe this one or this one, then that file will be saved there. Suppose I want to save it here on my NAS. So I'll click here on this drive and I'll make a new folder and I'll name it media cache. And then I'll select this folder. From now, Premiere Pro will render the file and it will save the file on that folder so it will not fill up my c drive and again what you can do you can delete your previous rendered file if you click here on this delete button it will delete the previous rendered file that is not necessary for you so after a certain time when you have finished the editing process of any project you don't need that cache file then you can delete that files right so premiere pro is deleting my cache file and it will free up my c drive so when you will find your c drive is filling very quickly when you are using adobe premiere pro then you can delete the cache file i think that will solve the problem so let's wait and see so it has completed the deletion process now let's get back to file manager and see if that has free up some space from my c drive right so if i get back here yeah you can see it it has free up some space from my c drive so you can delete the cache file to free up some space from your c drive or whatever drive you are using and again from here you can change media cache database uh, folder that is also consuming some space and again you can enable automatically delete cache file older than i'll put maybe here 15 days so it will delete all the files that is older than 15 days now if i click ok i don't need to get back and delete the files again and again it will automatically delete the older files so that is how you can free up some space from your c drive if you're using adobe premiere pro for your video editing process i have found if you use three separate ssd for the video editing process it will speed up the video playback and preview files dramatically if you use your primary ssd as a c drive then you can install the premiere pro there and then again you can use a ssd where you can save all the source file or the video files audio files where you are from editing and you can use a separate ssd for media cache that will speed up your playback and editing process a lot so that's all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye